Welcome to Wow in the Word, where we look at different wows which God put in his word for us to find. This wow appears in the Bible 260 times. Or in Old Testament Hebrew, phos in New Testament Greek, and in English, light. Light and darkness are huge themes in the Bible, and they're always against each other. But from the very beginning, light always wins by banishing the darkness. God himself is our light, and he shines his light into our lives through his word. His word and his teachings show us the best way to get through this dark world without stubbing our toe spiritually, or break a leg spiritually, or fall out of the boat of salvation eternally. God, our light, comes to us to shine the darkness out of our hearts, our minds, our words, and our lives. Jesus, the light, shines in the darkness cannot understand it or overcome it. Jesus said on two different occasions that he is the light of the world. At the transfiguration, Jesus shone like the sun because he is God, our light. In the book of Revelation, we get a glimpse into the throne room of God and into the new world, and God's light is everywhere and permeates everything. So in the end, light wins. <laughs> True enlightenment is found only in Christ. Every other path up the mountain just leads to more darkness. This is why two of Jesus' most common miracles were opening the eyes of the blind and casting out dark spirits. In those miracles, we see Jesus putting his light inside of us so that we can be the light to the world. Once you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. <laughs> You are the light of the world, so let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. And from Isaiah, O oh, come, let us walk in the light of Yahweh. Light, it saves us from darkness, and yet another wow in the Word. If you're ready to build up a bit more Bible brain power, check these out.